Well, thanks so much for joining us as we continue to look at the names of God. Uh, what comes to our mind when we think about God is the most important thing about us. And so we, we, we want to think of God's names, to understand his person, his character, his attributes. <clears throat> so the Apostle Paul reminded the church in Philippi that every believer should have the attitude of Jesus. It's a pretty, that's a pretty high calling, right? Have the attitude of Jesus. Although he was God, Paul explains to us, Jesus took on the very nature of a servant and humbled himself, and he became obedient to death, even death on the cross. And Paul explains that because of Jesus' work on the cross, God exalted him. This, this, this powerful passage, uh, Philippians chapter 2, 9 through 11. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. All right, let's think about the word Lord. That word in the English is Lord in the English. In the Greek, it's kurios. And it's used in the New Testament to refer to an owner or a person in authority. When people address Jesus as Lord, most of them were simply showing him respect as a, a rabbi or a teacher much like we would use the word sir to show respect today. However, after Jesus' death and the resurrection, the title Lord took on new meaning. After Jesus appeared to Thomas, the apostle who had doubted the resurrection, remember that? He, ex he exclaimed, the Lord and my God. John chapter 20, verse 28. Over time, the title Lord became the name for Jesus. Christianity's early, earliest confessions consisted of, of these powerful words, Jesus is Lord. Today, believers proclaim that Jesus is their personal Lord. He's the one we love. He's the one we follow. He's our, he's our master. He's the one in charge of our lives. The true believer proclaims, Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is the Lord. Lord Jesus, we, we proclaim today that you are the Lord. You are <clears throat> the one who is uh, uh, the, the owner of our souls. You paid the penalty. You bought us with a price. You died on the cross for our sins. And so today, we want to acknowledge you. We not, not just acknowledge us, Lord. We want to live for you as we want to follow hard after you as the one who we call our Lord and our Savior. We thank you and we pray in your name. Amen. Well, as you go through your day, think about that. Jesus is Lord. What does that mean? Um, we need to know what he says. And if he's truly our Lord, our master, the one we follow, we need to know what he says. We need to study what he says, but we need to obey what he says. I thank so much for joining us today on the journey.